Hi, today I want to share with you my favorite book from this week. It is Lakota Woman by Mary Crow Dog. It was written in 1990 um, by a then 37-year-old Lakota Sioux woman. Um, I think I can break this into about three different parts. First, it talks about her childhood. She grew up on the Rosebud Reservation in South Dakota and then was later sent to an Indian boarding school run by the Catholic Church. Um, her experiences at the boarding school were uh, pretty negative, as was somewhat common during this period. They weren't allowed to speak their own language. They had very limited contact with their families and their tribes. Um, she, as a teenager, ended up running away from the boarding school, which kind of begins what I would consider the second part of the book, where she's wandering, trying to figure out what it means to be a Native woman in the modern day. And she finds the American Indian Movement and begins to participate in a couple pretty significant protests with that group in the 70s. And then the last part of the book talks about her marriage to Leonard Crodog, who was a religious leader um, during the American Indian Movement. And it talks about how she supported him to expand uh, religious freedom and religious rights for American Indians. And it also um, talks about her experiences with various religious ceremonies and traditions, which I thought was really interesting. So my two big takeaways from this book were, first of all, how similar this movement is to the current Black Lives Matter movement. Um, there we're dealing with the same issues then as we are now with minorities being subject to police brutality, to struggling to get justice for victims of violence who belong to minority groups. And so that was really relevant. Um, the second thing I really liked about this book was all of the religion in it. I think it's so interesting to see how people who have different experiences than I do, how they interact with things that they find sacred. And her experiences, or even like her testimony of her native religion. I think it's so important to listen to the voices of people who have different opinions than us, different perspectives and experiences. And this book was definitely in that category for me. If you have read this book before, I'd love to hear what your thoughts were, and I'd love to hear if you have any other suggestions for what I should read next.